What's good, you two? This your man, Spill Dog. It's about, you know, um, we got that. We got another good fight coming up with Canelo and uh, Jamel Charlo. Um, I was looking at, you know, I just started really looking at the fight. I was looking at Canelo when he fought Ryder last night. And I will say this. <clears throat> Canelo looked like he looked a lot slower than he used to be. He definitely like he lost a step in the speed uh, category. Uh, you know, but Canelo's so, man, he's so big and solid and sturdy and, and, and compact, you know, uh, as much, you know, I, I, I like Mel a lot, and when I watched Canelo last night, I will say this, if Mel can, if Mel can, 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 can move for 12 rounds, stick and move, keep the fight on the outside, and uh, you know, you know, land big shots when he can, but mostly try to try to keep that jab pumping and move and keep uh, Canelo going around the ring. You know, maybe he could uh, he, he may be able to uh, get a decision somehow. You know, uh, cause like I said, Canelo he looked he looked mighty slow in the last fight. But to my fans, I, I owe y'all. I mean, the people that listen to my videos, I owe y'all an apology. You know. Uh, I won't ever bet a fight again, you know, or call a fight for y'all to bet again from the, from my heart, heart held, heart held feelings. Uh, I'm just an Earl Spence fan. At the end of the day, like I say, he remind me a lot of my older son. So, with that being said, I did. I, now I thought he was gonna win. Don't get me wrong. I thought he was gonna win, but I did. You know, it, it was at times where I felt like Crawford had a good chance just because of all the time that he spent out so from this point on I will give you my uh a more of a professional type opinion than my heart held opinion about who I would like you know who gonna win because of who I would like to win uh and this because in this fight with Charlo as much as I would like to see him win I got I find out I find it hard for me to see him going 12 rounds uh with Canelo, Canelo is the big. Canelo got is a big puncher, and to be honest with you, uh, Canelo can front box off the front foot, box off the back, back foot. He can walk you down. He can use the jab. I've seen Canelo fight against and use just about every style there is in boxing. So it definitely ain't nothing you're gonna be able to bring to the table that he haven't seen before. And no disrespect to Mel, he has fought better fighters, you know, over his career. You know, you know, I think he's fought better fighters than Mel might be, and I think he's beaten better fighters than Mel is beaten. So, you know, I can see this. Like, I, I go back to the fight that Jamel had with Castaño. Now, Castaño's somewhat similar to Canelo with the, you know, with the big, you know, uh, way they built. But Castaño is a volume puncher, uh, you know. So like I said, you know, I I, I just if if Mel can't hurt Canelo, it's the same thing I said about Bud with Spence. I said if Bud couldn't hurt Spence, he he, he was it, you know he was gonna get destroyed. And it's kind of a, sim, a similar situation. Uh, if Mel can't hurt Canelo, you know, uh, it's gonna be hard for him to keep Canelo off of him as the you know in the late rounds. Uh, so, like I said, this is a fight Mel have to take the money. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't walk away from this kind of money. And you know, if they was fighting in his division, or just maybe at 160, but he going up two divisions, and I'm sure that's like probably more closer to his walking around weight. But I, will he have? Will his power transfer up to 168? That would be the, that's the biggest question for me, you know, uh, cause Mel is definitely a, a, a knockout fighter. He, he, you know, he throw big shots, but he, you know, this this a big guy. He's gonna be throwing them big shots at this time. I hope him nothing but success for the always. You know, Canelo was always my pound for pound until recently. Now that uh, Bud beat Spence, I would consider him pound for pound. But <coughs> Canelo is close second between him and Tank, so I, like I said, I mean, you know, this hell of a tech, but if, if, if Mel pull this off, he'll be right behind Crawford on the pound for pound list, that's for sure, uh, 
you know, you know, like I said, I just think it's gonna be a real tough, tough, uh, tough task to try to overcome Canelo uh, with his power and experience. And then you know, another thing, you know, people, you know, Canelo had all these fights, but he really not a young fight. I mean, he really not an old fighter. Canelo still pretty young, you know, in his early 30s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, so it ain't like he, you know, like he's this old, old fighter. It's just that he been boxing professional since he been 15. And you'll forget that, you know, uh, how young he is just because he been around so long. So that's why I say, man, this this, this, this is going to be a, you know, it's a great fight for Mel. And, you know, if like I said, if he could pull off the upset, it'd be big. But if, if you know, from right here, just for right now, you know, we got a lot of weeks before that fight actually uh, transpired. But from in my first look, I would have to lean towards Canelo in this fight. But uh, Jamel definitely got a chance to win. Uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe. Till next time, it's your man Spill Dog. I'm out.